Hey guys, so, World Strongest Man's over, soccer aid is coming up, and people think I am retiring from Strongman, which you're correct. <laughs> so, nah, joking, nah. So, yeah, I better put it out this way, you know, as soon as I said the word, I'm going to take a break from Strongman, I think people was, social media is a bad thing for always jumping to conclusions and being like, oh, Tom's not doing this anymore. As you can see, my name's already down on the Glasgow Giants live list. Uh... I'll list off the comps I'm doing this year, then say some other things after that, but I'm doing Giants Live Glasgow, uh, obviously Shaw Classic, the team competition, and maybe Rogue. So there, I've still got four big competitions to go. Um, so basically, going back to what I said, so before World Strongest Man, I said to Sinead, I said to a few people as well, that depending on the result of World Strongest Man, I was going to take the rest of the year, not off, but the, the rest of the competition I do this year, I'm going to go, obviously turn up, but I'm going to have some fun at them, you know, meet meet the fans and just kind of chill out. Um, and if I didn't win World Strongest Man, it would have been another year of kind of grafting and, you know, putting my body through hell and stuff. But fortunately I won it. Uh, my kind of goals now are a bit changed. So obviously, you know, from now till August, I've got a lot of things on, a lot of media, a lot of travelling. Um, a lot more bigger things have come up for myself, which is really good. You know, last year after Worlds, I went straight into the media and didn't train or nothing and did it all wrong. It was really bad mentally, but this year I've kind of, you know, got a schedule, know what I'm doing and going to get, you know, get the balance between training and Sinead and family time and then travelling and stuff. So, you know, from now till August is that. Obviously in August I've got the Shaw Classic, which I start training for on Monday. So after soccer aid, I'll be training for that again. Again, I'm going to be going over to that, but I'm not going to be going over to that in any condition like I was at World Strongest Man. Brian Shaw's invited me three times over there. I had to say no the last uh, three times or two times, whatever it is. This is the third time lucky and I'm 100% going, you know. I'm going obviously to because I love Brian Shaw and Colorado and I think what he's going to be doing for Strongman is unbelievable. So I'm going to be going over there um, again to meet some new guys, to meet uh, fans and to have some fun. More, Most importantly, you know, not every Strongman competition we do is, you know, you take I take 100% seriously. I always professional about what I do but this one for me is more about fun and just going to go and try some new events that Brian Shaw's got on there. These are going to be quite spicy and cool. So obviously Brian Shaw's comps in August but because my priority is not really on strawman right now and I don't need to stress about competitions, put my body, body through unnecessary stress and kind of get too worked up. I'm going to be going there have some fun, obviously test myself with the new events and again see uh, see all the boys but um, my main priority like I said is not on strawman this year. It's on about having a family with Sinead, you know, I've said that since I started Strongman. I love kids, I want a family, you know, and uh, Sinead's been wanting a family for the last, the last maybe five or six years, you know, and I've always wanted to kind of, my kind of goal for myself was, you know, to get financially stable and then to bring kids into it because if you, you know, five years ago I was, what, 20, 23 years old, I'm only just getting into the scene of, like, the world's strongest man. If I had a kid then, not financially stable, a lot of, mental problems and maybe relationship problems but now I think I'm in we're in a position now that you know I don't I could do this as a full-time job I'm kind of comfortable with my what I'm earning you know what I'm doing in my life so this is probably my best time best chance to have kids you know I've proved that I'm the best world strongman in the world <coughs> two years running and for me world strongest man is the kind of I think it's kind of like what Eddie Hall says is a competition that gets me the most motivated whenever I do world strongest man it, even if I had a a prep that's maybe 60-70%. I always get so, so motivated when I go to World Strongest Man just because of that prestigious title. Yeah, Arnold's is good, but Arnold's doesn't have the title like World Strongest Man. Rogue's good, but it doesn't have that prestigious title that you're known as the World Strongest Man. So, like, for the last year, I've just been so motivated with those two. But now I've achieved that goal. Like I said with Sinead, you know, last year I said I was going to have kids, but then, you know, a lot of people were saying come back and defend it. You know, I shut a lot of people up, defended it quite comfortably in the end and now I don't really need to prove to anybody else now that I am the best so yeah kids for myself is priority family is priority and spending some quality time with Sinead is priority as well so you know my kind of plan after August is just again you know just to train I'm always going to train and I was going to do trauma let's not get that wrong I'm not going to retire I'm not going to go and sit on my butt and uh, get really really fat like I already am there might be some different kind of you know, diet's changing, there might be some different, I might do some different weights and, you know, stuff like that. You know, obviously I've got the blood lab that are going to help me uh, on, on the road to kind of, you know, with kids as well. Obviously Nathan with the diet stuff 
and down with training. Obviously, the more stress you put on your body, you're kind of so less likely to have kids as well, and it's a harder to have kids. So I might tell Dan, you know, take out some when I'm not doing some strongman competitions or when I've got a big break, take out the strongman stuff, do some bodybuilding, and you know, the same with the diet, take the diet right down as well. So you know, that's for all of us to talk about. Um, I see the Brad Lab people on Monday after soccer aid and we're going to have a big plan. So, you know, that's kind of the plan. Um, like I said, I'm still going to train. I'm still going to um, be as many as many competitions as I can watching. And I'm still going to, obviously, those four competitions I listed off at the start are what ones I'm going to be doing, which is still, you know, it's June already. That's a massive. For another four competitions this year is massive. I mean, a lot of top guys only do two or three competitions, you know, and... Uh, I'm still doing another three to four competitions this year, so I'm clearly not retiring. Um, so yeah, like I just said, for I'm trying to get a lot of media. I'm trying to get more like acting. I want to try and get into the movie roles now as well. Obviously, with me being six foot eight, achieve what I've done. Hopefully, you know I can get into that. I'm trying to get into some big more, some more media stuff, but like on a bigger scale. Uh, I'm just trying to get you know a few more bigger sponsors as well, just to help me along the way. And also, the you know, biggest thing for myself is I think every time, you know, you, you guys have seen it yourself. The brand's growing. At 100 knots every single year we've been doing this sport and I want to keep continuing that you know that's the thing you know, if Luke's if Luke this year says he wants to be going to the, the shot class at 100% he wants to go into Glasgow 100% uh, like wants to win it and stuff then you know it can I might take a wee back seat like he has sometimes and you know focus on the business side of things still train but have more fun training obviously and help him and uh, for me for the priorities as like I said is kids our number one was Shane, and obviously growing this business, and then also again grow, getting my own house. We've been me and Shane have been talking about our own house for the last year, year and a half. But with COVID, everyone's just snapping them up. Now there's a lot more going on the market, so hopefully by the end of the year as well, we'll be in our own house, so we can you know have our own house, start a family, and you know it's kind of like a new chapter in our life as well. Strongman's never going to go away for me. I think people need to realise that I just won two World Strongest Man titles at 27 years old. I'm now just turned 28, and I could be doing this sport for another 11 years and I don't want to get bored of the sport. I don't ever want to, you know, fall out in love with it. So take not taking a year out, but, you know, doing what I'm doing right now is probably the best thing for me. I can come back at 20, still be 28 years old and still dominate. So I'll touch on this wee bit, you know, people asking me, do you want to go for three in a row? Um, again, that depends with kids. It all just really depends. I don't really want to talk about the future too much. Touch. Touch wood, I could go and rupture something in my body and not do competitions. I don't like to talk about the future because you never know what the future holds. Sinead could fall pregnant December time and then, yeah, I could be then the happiest, the happiest guy in the world, go to Worlds. Sinead could follow, not fall pregnant till four weeks before Worlds Straw is man and I won't be doing Worlds or something could happen, you know. So I don't really like to talk too much about the future. I just know what I've got looking forward to. I mean, I've got my first family holiday in about to, uh, 13, 14 years that all my family are going to. So there's 15 of us going to Tenerife, which is really nice to look forward to. I'm taking Sinead, I think, on a cruise later on this year as well. So And that's our first holiday since we've been together by the honeymoon. So that's pretty bonkers thinking you know, we've been together 10 years and we've never been on a holiday out of Strawman. So, you know, Strawman's taken over my life a lot. So it's just to give things back. And obviously I want kids, she wants kids, and it's the right time to do it. But, yeah, that's just a wee summary. I'm not going anywhere, don't you worry. And also, I'm wearing this new 94 Silverback Gym T-shirt that you'll see on my Instagram. This will be released next week sometime. Keep your eyes peeled for that. But anyway, guys, a nice wee summary um, about Strawman, the business, and family life. For the next few weeks, I'm just going to do, enjoy doing some stuff with sponsors, traveling, and just enjoy my life, you know. I think I deserve it. So, guys, stay safe, smile, and stay spicy. And thank you for the support. And thank you, most importantly, for 200k subs. Subs, subs, stay spicy, ding, 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 ring that bell, ding, 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 ding.